Welcome to this day and everything cool for January 21st. Who knew that Nintendo was going to change the course of video game history when Super Smash Bros. released for the Nintendo 64 on this day in 1999? A cartoony mascot brawler featuring lovable, cute characters from across multiple eras of Nintendo consoles could have been an extraordinary disaster. But like they have so many times before and since, Nintendo tapped into something that gamers really wanted. Smash was a Smash, and it went on to spawn sequels on the GameCube, the Wii, and the Wii U, and grow to become a staple in esports competitions all over the planet. January 21st, 2009 was the day that Electronic Arts unleashed Skate 2 on a gaming population that had perhaps grown exhausted by all that the Tony Hawk games were offering. The Skate franchise was different. It was less about over-the-top arcadey flash and more about muted authenticity. It looked and played like some of the crazy YouTube videos that people were sharing of regular skaters pulling off some great runs. The game offered a single-player career mode with cameos from pro skaters, and it also featured a lot of great multiplayer options and the ability to share stylized videos of your skills with the world. The Skate franchise is seriously missed by gamers everywhere, but it seems unlikely that EA will venture back onto the streets of San Vanalona anytime soon. Advance Wars was already a pretty successful franchise for Nintendo, but with Advance Wars Days of Ruin, which was published on January 21st, 2008, the developers at Intelligent Systems wanted to go for a darker tone. The setting was post-apocalyptic, with 90% of humans having been wiped out by a ferocious meteor shower. As well, the commanding officer powers in the game were more complicated to utilize this time, so the campaign was more challenging. The dual-screen portable platform of the DS was a perfect home for the strategic franchise, and Days of Ruin even supported online multiplayer. But as robust and enjoyable as the game was, sales of Days of Ruin were not so strong that Nintendo and Intelligent Systems quickly set about building new Advance Wars titles for the 3DS, unlike the developer's other big series, Fire Emblem. Is Days of Ruin the last we'll hear of Advance Wars? Only time, and Nintendo, will tell.